Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to explore a new custom ROM for our Redmi Note 8. This ROM I haven't reviewed for any of my devices. So this one is called EOS. I don't really know what does mean E or what E stand for. But this ROM is a privacy focused ROM. Although this ROM is based on Android 13, but the UI is a little different. So let's explore this ROM. So as you can see here, the device is booted up and this ROM booted up very fast actually. And unlock the device. First of all, we will check our Android version and other things. So as I said, it's based on Android 13. So about device and Android version Android 13. So it's running on US 2.2, which is an official ROM for Zinco. There is no official build of this ROM for this device right now. And the security patch level is June. 5, 2024 so it is a recent build i have been using this rom for three days or four days now it's quite awesome rom actually so going back as you can see here the setting layout is a little different and first of all we are getting an updated section here let me connect to my wi-fi the wi-fi is connected updated section so we do have like a update option here but it's currently not working as you can see if we try to update so as you can see here it says update check fail maybe there is some issue with the server and in the account section you will get your google accounts and other things although this rom doesn't come with gfs but you can flash but according to the developer you should not flash gfs on this rom as this rom is actually privacy focused rom so in the connected device we do have bluetooth and bluetooth does work perfectly fine no issue and in the app section as you can see here what apps we are getting and as you can see all the apps we are getting i did install few application here but it's pretty much stock there is nothing much going on and going back in the notification panel it's typical android 13 notification things and going to the battery section there are few things here actually in the device control section we do have device control we can schedule and we also can limit the charging to how much we want like 80% or 90% so those things are available and in the storage section as you can see almost 50 GB available when I got this ROM now about 49 GB available in terms of sound and vibration everything works perfectly fine no issue with that as you can see here sounds and everything is working and in the display section we do have some tricks here like we can use dark mode change the theme and light color and other things rotation setting also there you can choose up to 128 degree 90 degree or 270 degrees double tap to work double tap to sleep does work perfectly fine no issue with those things the wallpaper and style section as this rom is based on android 13 there is nothing like a wallpaper or anything like that but we do have few wallpapers here maybe as you can see here few wallpapers available and going back we do have like other things like we can change icon and we also can change the icon shape like now it's the icons look like generic uh, apple like look on this rom and if you want you can change it to circle which will give you like pixel os like look so as you can see here pixel os like look but still the icons look different than usual android 13 or 14 based rom and in terms of font there are few fonts available and you can change the icon and other things so that's all what we are getting with the wallpaper and style accessibility section there are a few things here security section we do have fingerprint option here so fingerprint does work perfectly fine no issue and it's fast and reliable there is no face unlocking option here but fingerprint unlocking is working perfectly fine in the privacy setting we have trust and few other things here and advanced privacy so in the advanced privacy as you can see here it is showing how much uh, apps you used or whatever you're doing also you can deny the geolocation or real ip address so you can do those things and also you can see trackers and other things you can see everything from here from this dashboard and also we do have parental control so if you are giving this device to your children or someone like that you can use parental control and we do have Xiaomi parts option so I did change the display setting as you can see here to not to have retention issue and in the system section 
uh, all the typical things and this rom as i said did not come with g apps but we do have micro g here so micro g is available so you can still use google application here and also in terms of customization we can go to status bar section we can choose few things actually and uh, like am pm style um, battery style and that's all what you are getting in terms of customization going back there is nothing much going on so that's all what we are getting with this rom in the setting section so as you can see here the notification panel is pretty much similar to android 13 and 14 based rom and all the shortcuts are here available you can change them you can edit them as you liking and in terms of application as you can see here there is nothing much going on so i did install youtube here gcamator and safety net to check what is going on with this rom so and also i have installed apk pure so there are two camera applications available here actually one of them is snapdragon camera which does work so as you can see here it does work and you can take picture and whatever you want to do everything works and also there is a miui camera here which also works as you can see here we can take picture and we can switch to ultra wide angle and also we can switch to 2x so everything working and also if i want i can take picture in macro mode so that that one also working so in terms of camera everything is working but gcam is not working for some reason maybe different version will work but as far as what i have installed using gcam better application so it's a 9.2 maybe so as you can see a 9.2 and it does open and it will close itself actually most of the time so as you can see it closed itself so gcam has some issue with this rom maybe different version will work like gcam version 8.0 or something like that those might work but this one is not working so there is a built-in store here so it is called app launcher maybe so if you open it you can install application directly from here but there is nothing much going on in here actually not much application available it's pretty much new app store maybe uh, that's why i did install apk viewer which has almost all the application which you can get from play store all the application are here you can download them and i did try to install play store directly from here but for some reason that did not work i could not able to install google application here but youtube is working as you can see here youtube does work so if you want you can watch youtube videos without any kind of issue and also it detect my google account without any kind of issue and if you check the safety net safety net is failed so you cannot use any kind of bank application here although this rom is actually privacy focused but as you can see cts profile doesn't match so maybe in future update it will change and if you swipe here you can see whatever application you use or suggestion and there is a cloud things going on which you can log in and whatever i have showed you previously in setting you can access them from directly from here so you can fake the geolocation also hide ip address in terms of performance the rom is working perfectly fine actually the battery backup is good and it's pretty smooth actually and it's quite fast even i have to say that it's faster than evolution x or c android rom it's pretty fast it could be because of not having g apps but the rom is really good and if you want to try this rom i will put the rom link in the description below and you can flash it but uh, remember that before flashing this rom you should flash the firmware and then flash this rom otherwise you might get some issues like when i flash this rom first time the wi-fi was not working i had to flash the firmware then i had to flash this rom after that everything is working perfectly fine no issue with that and everything seems to be working and also there is a maps application which is not really google maps but it is working it's new application maybe but i'm not going to trust this application it's not going to be that much reliable like apple map or google map but it is there but if you want google map you can directly download from apk pure and install it the rom is pretty good i hope in future update they fix this issue and also let us use play store as we are not flashing g apps here but you can also try flashing g apps there will be no issue with that so that's all about eos thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one